topographical map the most interesting and challenging topic in geography but many students find it difficult and often even the toppers lose one or two marks here so hi everyone i am vidya mala your geography teacher and i'm here today to teach you interpretation of topographical maps in a very easy and simple manner welcome to part 1 interpretation of topographical maps and map scale in lower classes we have learnt about globes map their advantages disadvantages etc but do you know who make these maps and what all they do to make these maps just like we call a person who takes photo as photographer and the art of taking photos as photography a person who makes map or draws map is called cartographer and the art of drawing or designing maps is called cartography survey of india soi a very important organization do you know that it is a national survey and mapping organization in india under the ministry of science and technology established in 1767 in dehradun it includes various operations beginning with surveying the land to the final stage of printing and distributing the maps based on its demand there are many types of maps and i think you are familiar with political maps and physical maps political maps shows you the political boundaries between states countries district etc whereas physical maps they show you physical features such as rivers streams plateaus plains etc in this video we are going to learn about topographical maps topographical maps are special field maps that show three dimensional surface on a two dimensional sheet of paper i think you all know paper has two dimension length and breadth in topographical maps we can see the third dimension which is the height by using contour lines these maps also show both natural features as well as man made features with the help of colors conventional signs and symbols they are also called ordnance survey map because they were first made by the british for the british army you might think what makes these topographical maps so important why should we learn them what are their various uses topographical maps have varied uses the uses of topographical maps are they are useful for development of roads railway line for planning and executing military operations for setting up of industries developing tourism and even for afforestation and flood control measures the next topic is map scale or scale of the map the ratio between the distance measured on the map to the corresponding distance on the surface connecting two points is called map scale now you need to understand two things there is something called map distance and ground distance map distance means the distance between two places in the map ground distance means the distance between the same two places in the actual ground say for example the distance between place a and place b in the map is 1 cm that is called map distance but in the actual ground what is the distance between them when you walk from place a to place b that is called ground distance in order to find this we need to know what is map scale we need to learn to read the map scale types of map scale or what are the ways of representing a scale in a map there are three major types let's learn them one by one number 1 verbal scale it is a way of representing a map scale by a statement just a statement will be written in the map for example 1 cm to 1 km it means the map distance is 1 cm and the ground distance is 1 km that is 1 cm on the map is equal to 1 km on the ground number 2 is graphical scale it is also called as linear scale it is represented by means of a line so a linear scale is a line divided into equal parts called 
primary divisions the first primary division is further divided into smaller parts called secondary divisions this scale is very useful for calculating distance between two places representative fraction it is one of the most important board exam question it is the ratio between distance on the map and the corresponding distance on the earth surface yes as the word suggest it is represented as a fraction the numerator indicates the distance on the map well the denominator indicates the distance on the actual ground example if the representative fraction is 1 is to 50000 or we can write it as 1 divided by 50000 so here the numerator 1 this is the map distance and the denominator 50000 is the ground distance so here 1 cm on the map is equal to 50000 cm on the ground so it can be easily converted into any units of measurement and it is also called universal scale because it is uniformly used all over the world so hence the scale is very very useful compared to verbal scale or a statement scale now maps can be classified as large scale maps or small scale maps to understand this better let's play a game have you played big fish small fish when i say big fish you have to show your hand like this small when i say small fish you have to show like this big so this is small fish this is big fish that is you have to do exactly the opposite of what i am telling you so this is a very interesting game for kids and uh, we often play this uh, at our home during parties and all okay so why i am telling about this game is see i told no big fish means you have to show like this just like that large scale map means they show a small area but they give you very very minute details about that area best example is our topographical map topographical map they show you a small part of the earth but they give you more details like every building a bridge a road uh, where is the uh, school or where is this mountain hill everything will be shown with utmost accuracy whereas small scale map they show you large areas they will not cover smaller details like topographical maps so know that topographical maps are large scale maps so that's it for today's video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel do click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you will be the first one to know when i upload my next video so thank you and bye bye